Hello there, greetings everybody, it's Diorama Don here and something that you would find even today in most uh, French villages uh, a war memorial so uh, I haven't made one before so uh, here we go, this is the one that I've made um, easy to make, uh, just a bit of cardboard and a bit of polystyrene, that's all um, I've set it into a village setting with my previously made uh, buildings from other videos uh, so um, let's get on with the video and I'll show you how I went about making it so we'll start with the uh, the top part of the war memorial which is uh, a four-sided obelisk okay so I've, I've marked out one side of my obelisk on just a thin piece of card this is just a, a template of uh, of the, the size that we're going to need so I've made it an, an inch and a quarter wide at the bottom there which is uh, 32 millimeters so 32 millimeters that way and the height is uh, three and a half inches or nine centimeters that way uh, and then it narrows down to one inch at the top there 25 millimeters and that's two and three quarters so two and three quarters from the base to there it narrows to one inch or 25 millimeters okay that's basically the size that we need so then on a piece of two millimeter cardboard uh, again two or three pieces of cornflake packets stuck together um, I'll do it that way so you can see it more easily uh, put that on there like so and then it's not easy for me to do this like this but draw around it like so and then move it along to the next line and it's gonna look like that One, two, three, four, and move it around again. Keeping the line. One, two, three, four, and then one more time. So we've got four sides. One, two, three. For. I've done that very quickly I, I would take a lot more time that's basically the shape then that you would have uh, go over those lines to make absolutely sure uh, that they're more more of a defined line and you need to put these lines in don't do it freehand <laughs> like that then what you need to do is cut this shape out and then score along these lines just a score just so that it will bend to 90 degrees and also score along these lines here so what you end up with is something like that so I've scored these lines so I can bend that to 90 degrees and that will bend all the way around and the top will bend over to a point like that so that will give me my obelisk shape like that when it's all glued up and to make absolutely sure that it's nice and square at the bottom um, just put this inch and a quarter square glue that in like that glue along there and then just glue these top pointy bits okay and they'll have a perfectly square perfect obelisk so that will make the top part of the uh, uh, memorial and then we'll just need uh, a base, make a base for it. So I will uh, glue this up and I'll make the parts for the base and uh, come back and show you. Okay, so we've got the top part all glued up and done. That's ready now for, uh, well, I can, I can fill these in with um, wall filler. These, um, where I scored the, the cardboard and left these um, <clears throat> gaps here 
so I can fill those with cardboard that's not a problem because we want nice sharp edges on uh, on all four sides so I'll do that a bit later uh, but the bottom part um, first of all it can sit on where are we <clears throat> these two pieces of card this this is uh, one eighth of an inch wider than the bottom so that will sit well, let's do it one at a time slightly proud of the base like that and again this is slightly bigger again so it will <coughs> be easier when it's all glued together so that will make the base then okay and then <clears throat> for the bottom part I've made this what have I made it um, an inch and three eighths inch and three eighths that way which is 35 millimeters okay so that will it will sit like that and I, I've cut these panels out uh, which will denote the um, the names of the departed at the bottom of the memorial sort of set it set into the the base um, so yeah I, I've cut these uh, pieces out and then just put another piece at the, for the backing and again scored down three sides and that will make up a, a square and again that will sit inside to make it a perfect square like that and then that will sit on top of that <clears throat> okay and then there'll be a piece going around the top like that that will go all the way around there and then three more pieces at the bottom again slightly bigger than the base there so that you'll just see the edge there and then two more pieces getting bigger and bigger only by about three sixteenth of an inch that's all <laughs> you'll, you'll see a lot better when I've glued it all together okay you, I think <laughs> there you go <laughs> I think you've got the idea oh, that goes in there so that will be it basically uh, so I'll glue it all together now and then uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about okay be back in one moment so I assembled all my bits and pieces of card together um, made the, the, the base and put that uh, uh, square in the bottom to keep it absolutely nice and square uh, added those three ever increasing sizes uh, on the bottom piece and the same two pieces uh, at the bottom of the obelisk and then put a border all the way around uh, that that's all that's all it is and then with these cutouts it looks looks a lot better i think as well um for where i scored the cardboard and folded it to sort of uh, open up the cardboard i needed to fill those back in again uh, so i i painted it with um wall filler a little bit of wall filler plus some water to make it into a like a paint when that was dry then I put the uh, wall filler neat from the tub so that the, the thick consistency stuff just uh, fill in the gaps along the uh, the cut along the cardboard and then with two thumbs just ease up like so and take away the excess and then when it was dry I was able to sand it and make perfect square corners I think you'll find okay so very pleased with the outcome of that so we've got our obelisk and our base uh, now we need um, something for it to stand on so just a square of cardboard that's all and uh, I made a, a couple of steps and uh, they're just half inch strips uh, glued underneath and then put the same on these three sides to even the 
even it up and then with half inch uh, polystyrene I cut half inch strips so it was half inch by half inch polystyrene uh, three strips along the uh, three edges and then a, a, a taller piece on the four corners and then cardboard pieces of cardboard on the top um, cut and beveled with a piece of sandpaper which makes like a, a seating area if you like all around the memorial like so okay so I'll do the same with uh, this as I did with this uh, give this a coat of wall filler with a bit of water uh, then I'll give it um, a very very light uh, coating of grey grout to make it look uh, concrete and then uh, that should be it then I'll, I'll set it into a a village diorama I, sh I shall use buildings that I've made in previous dioramas and set it into a like a path and then this will be like in the middle of the village if you like so I'll go ahead and do all that and uh, come back and we'll see what it looks like then so I finished the war memorial off um, I gave it a coat of uh, grey grout um, but then took most of it off then with a, a damp sponge sort of uh, dabbed on it to give it that uh, old concrete kind of look I think that's uh, <clears throat> Okay, and then the same thing with the uh, with the base there. <clears throat> so that will sit there, and just to make it <clears throat> a little bit more interesting, there's a <laughs> couple of my figures I've ripped out of my half track. Okay, so there we are, one memorial. Now what I'm going to do is make a very very easy simple. Uh, base diorama base um, and make a kind of uh, village square if you like with the memorial the memorial in the middle of the square uh, so I'll do that uh, the, the, the houses will be of um, buildings that I've made in past um, videos so I'll do that just to set it off a little bit uh, better than this and uh, I'll be back in two seconds Okay, so we've got it properly situated now in the centre of the village uh, with my trusty half track going around there. Um, just a few of the uh, buildings I've made previously. Uh, but I think that looks um, as impressive a war memorial as uh, you'd ever find anywhere in northern France at that time. Well, even today. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel it is very important that uh, I get these subscriptions up and um, uh, click the notification bell when uh, similar dioramas will be uh, posted and uh, click the um, thumbs up <laughs> what else can you click oh yeah the um, super thanks but uh, that's entirely up to you um, as regards the um, half track, if you are a regular viewer to my channel, you will have seen this crop up probably in every other video that I've ever made. Um, it's seen better days. It's lost a wheel <laughs> and I can't find out where it is. Uh, so I think I need to make a new one. So what I shall do in uh, maybe not the next video, but certainly the probably the video after I shall purchase yeah I know I shall purchase uh, a new half track Tamiya um, kit and uh, make a couple of videos of how I go about <laughs> making and putting together um, a Tamiya kit and uh, painting and weathering it um, it probably won't be the <laughs> same as most people uh, I do tend to do things a little differently uh, so if if I can get enough viewers of this video then um, I will be able to afford <laughs> to buy a new kit 
and I will spend a couple of videos actually assembling and painting it. So uh, something to look forward to, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> OK, so um, I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modelling.